Review UK and today we are reviewing Cheese It Extra Toasty. Or Cheese Its, if you want to call them that. Are they, Wait, I, does it say it? No, it says I, it. No, I know, but they are Cheese Its, aren't they? They're like, no, it says Cheese It. Ugh. There is no It's. Bloody ball and chain. There's no S or Z after the T. Alright, chill out. Right, so, my name's MJ. Oh, but it does say these toasted Cheese Its. That's weird. You need to sort your brand out. Are you cheese it or cheese it? That is a quote from a person, though. To be fair. Oh, okay. They, I think maybe they refer to the plural as cheese it crackers. I don't know why we're getting bogged down with this, though. Um, right, cheese it. So apparently they did some kind of. Um, I don't know if they did a competition, a poll, to choose the next flavour, but it certainly says the number one most requested flavour was extra toasty. Bloody love cheese its I think they're incredible. Wasn't sure about them at first. I said this in every review of cheese its so far. But I just grew to bloody love them, I and was... now I'm essentially obsessed with them. I don't understand how extra toasty is a flavour though. Well, they just like cook them extra, I guess. Just yeah, look. A bit burnt. Yeah. Don't <laughs> say that. <laughs> I can cooked. see, actually, to show the viewers. Yeah, they are certainly browned. You can see the extra browning on them. Um, and so far, normal plain cheese its have been my favourite. I've had plain cheese its I've had sharp cheddar and four cheese uh, those two were a bit too natural cheese taste and I preferred the almost artificial flavour of the originals um, which these are based on and they smell more like the originals right let's, let's go for it extra toasty have I had the original I can't remember I think so oh 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 and they're literally like the most um the most moorish thing in the world they're so salty so what is the cheese? Is it supposed to be like a red Leicester? I think this is a classic American cheddar, I think. Which, yeah, as you say, they are red. And I think it's, a, it's basically a, a very mild cheddar, I think. I think that's what they are. Definitely taste the toastiness. I absolutely love the idea of these. The idea of it is amazing. Like, I wish that more things in the UK did an extra toasty variety because look if you could just look at an, an individual one very very brown and that burnt toaster uh, taste sorry that burnt taste or extra toasty taste two things um, comes through really well why do they have a hole in the middle don't know might help the baking process and but you think there's a slight tang yeah a little bit it's cheese. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. These are, I definitely prefer these to the sharp cheddar. Well, I can't stop eating them, so. Yeah, they're amazing. Right. They're so fucking Moorish. Mmm. Five star product. I absolutely love the branding on these as well. So bold. And just looks so <laughs> iconic. <laughs> What on earth did you do there? That looks really retarded. I lost one. They're so salty. They do taste kind of artificial, but I don't care. I mean, the texture is light and crispy. I freaking adore these things. Um, yeah. So this is just the original batch tasty? Yeah, that's right. This is a six star product for me. Yeah, just mind blowingly good. Yeah, love them. Absolutely love it. I don't want to overhype them, people who haven't had them. But if you have had them, then you know. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this this extra toasty edition of Food Review UK. Do check out our other channels, which does include the life of Michael Jameson, where you can see what Claire and I got up to when we actually bought this product in uh, Washington or the thereabouts. And also, check out our Instagram page at Fruckgram. And why not head over to our Twitter page as well, which is at Food Review UK. Bye.